the Iron Trainer, and this is the weekend edition. Uh, this weekend, we're going to take a look here at the banks. Uh, first, we're going to start off with Goldman Sachs and then JP Morgan, Bank of America, Fifth Third, Wells Fargo, Citibank, US uh, Bank Corp, UBS, and Morgan Stanley. This video is for information purposes only. A recommendation to buy, sell any stock, buy the ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, first set of DACA is my favorite here is Goldman Sachs, uh, your daily, your weekly, and your monthly. Now, I'm a owner of Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan, uh, long-termers, and I also trade them, uh, but these are, I think, the, the best banks that are around. So let's just take a look at the charts. Now, we can look at here at Goldman Sachs. Uh, you know, we had a really nice uh, bottom here at 289.36, and then we just rallied right on up. Now we have a, it's kind of a sideways action here, putting in some higher highs. Uh, one thing we want to do is look at this RSI. See we are, how we have a high on the RSI, and we have a high. We have an even higher high, but a lower, okay? So this is negative divergence, okay? So always try to keep that uh, in mind. Your MACD here, well, that's kind of trying to roll over a little bit. Uh, same way with here on your uh, weekly chart. Um, the RSI here looks uh, good on there, and then on your monthly uh, chart, your, your green is above your red, that's showing very, very good. Uh, but let's just take a look here at the chart. So what we want to do is, let's just take a look at the downside first. So you want to look here basically at that 50-day, that's 385.04, okay? So if that is lost, and we follow the candles down, you have uh, 381.26, we have 380.85, we have... 375.78, and then you have 375.20, which is the bottom of this candle. And we want to look at the bottom of this candle, which is basically 374.24 and 372.07. Now, there is a gap here on this chart that you always want to keep in mind. And that basically, the low is 365, and then we have the, the high of 362.85. So you have a gap and your fill, okay? So here now on the upside, you wanna watch that 21 day, 387.73, and then you have your eight day right above that at 389.81. Now, again, if we can just get up higher, then what you wanna do is start look to the top of these candles, 392.73, we wanna look here, you have 393.91, and then we have 396. Uh, 35, and then you have your big retest there at 397.49. Uh, but we just have some sideways trading action here. The key is going to be holding this uh, 50 SMA here on the downside. If, you, if it's lost, you can follow the candles down, but you're looking at that 375.20 is what you're looking for. Now, again, if this is just sideways action, if it breaks out above that 397.49, then look at the nice targets we have, okay? So you want to bring this price channel right across. And what do we have? You got uh, a 412.66, and then we have 426.16. Uh, Above that 426.16, well, you got blue sky. Okay, she's going to go uh, higher. But this is a very, very uh, bullish chart. We just have some sideways action here going on, but we got to just to see if it could hold it. It would be really nice if it came down here and came down to the lower parameters. Um, and then, you know, you, you, you could buy it up here, uh, uh, again, kind of a situation. However, if it does break above that 397.49, then you definitely want to watch the top of that candle, 412.66 and 426.16. Uh, That's where you want to watch, okay? So basically, just watch these key SMAs here, uh, that 385.04 on the downside, and then on upside, that 387. Uh, 73 and then at 389.81 but you have some good sideways action good trading action okay let's take a look at this at a, on a different chart okay this is a, this is a different chart this is by finbiz you can just punch it up go to finbiz.com you can punch it up same thing as what i have now i use the uh tos thinkorswim charts i think they're the best uh in the biz um so again you have to do what you think is uh best for charting uh, all right, so what we have here, you had a, a high here. You've been following this channel all the way up, and you can see the gradual rise that we have, and you have a really nice, good trading action. The key is if you can break out above, then you can go higher. If not, we want to break down, and you want to hold this level. But always watch here, see what we have. Look to the bottom of that. That's at 365, and then we look to the top of this candle. Okay, you're looking at 362.85 gap. Okay, and then your fill, and then we have another gap all the way down here, 
332.47, and then with the top of this candle is uh, uh, 328.72, uh, and then we have another gap down here at 317.93, and then we have another fill at 314.54. So gap, gap, gap. Now I'm not saying that's that's where it's going to go, but I'm saying down the road if it does sell off here, always watch these gaps because these become really, really nice support levels and actually buying opportunities. Okay, the next one we're going to look at here is going to be JP Morgan. Okay, JP Morgan. Now, this is one of my favorite stocks here, and Jamie Dimon, he's one of my favorite CEOs. I think he's really got his act together. I think he knows everything what you need to do about banking. Okay, so you're looking at uh, uh, 135.19. Look at the really nice run here, but when you look at this, see how they follow that 8 SMA here, the 21-day your uh, 50 day, look how nice these are all from the lower left to the upper right. Just very, very nice. Now, again, this is getting pretty, pretty nosebleed situation. So if you look at the downside here, what you want to watch is this key 8 SMA. You really need to hold that because you look at how many times that it's held it. So if you do hold that, that's sitting at 187.07. Now, what we want to do here on next to line is always look to the candle here. See where you have the top of this candle came down and then broke out. Well, that becomes now good support level. So the next line in level here is going to be 186.43. That's your top. We looked at the top of this candle, 185.20. And then we come down here. You're looking at 180.21. We have 178.30. And then you have uh, 176.31. So when this candle runs up like this and comes down and it breaks out, that becomes good support levels or resistance depends on how we're looking at it. So, but for the key levels, you want to watch at 187.07, you want to watch this 182.18, and then below that, 176.01, and then we have your price channel sitting at 172.62, okay? So this is actually a very, very good chart. So when you look at this RSI here, you say, oh, it's all above that 70. Man, this is just gives you the, how much strength that this stock actually has, okay? So never really fear that, but when you get above that, yeah, you're in nosebleed territory like you are here, but again, this is, shows very, very good relative strength. Your MACD, your green is over red, shows you very, very good, good momentum. Look at here, that green above the red, momentum here. So we gotta see if a little bit of pullback, and I think this would be a really good buying opportunity. Now on the upside, you obviously wanna watch that 190.50. To go higher, you're gonna need Fibonacci, but realistically, you're going to that 200 mark, okay? So when it gets to that $200 flat, and you, usually when it comes to these round numbers, that's where you get yourself a little pullback here. But I didn't really care for Friday's action, especially in technology, when you look at a company like uh, NVIDIA, that thing came off 100 points off the top. Now, I know that's a FOMO stock. Everybody, oh, God, I got to get in, I got to get in. But, you know, we got to remember those stocks now. When they come off, they come off really hard. But 100 points, it came off. Now, on NVIDIA, I've been just scalping that, okay? 20, 30 points, whatever I can get out of a day, I just take it and take my money in the pocket and see what happens the next day. But when you, when you get to those extreme levels, she comes off. She comes off really, really hard, okay? So realistically, watch that key. Uh, 187 to 8 SMA, your 21 day, your 50 day, and your retest. And then your intermediate here, just watch the go to the left of the chart, watch the top of these candles. That becomes very, very good uh, support levels. All right, let's take a look at it here on a different chart. Okay, there's your JP Morgan. Now you can see your trend line. Look at that. Beautiful. Lower left, upper right, just all the way. Now, again, if it comes all the way down, holds that trend line. You're still in very, very good shape. Comes down here, even holds this area here. The key is if it just happens to fall off here. But you are getting here a little bit on the overbought uh, conditions. So always keep that in mind. Okay, the next one we're going to look at here is going to be uh, uh, Bank of America. Okay, here we have Bank of America. Now you can see in the first two here that we've done, these all look very, very similar. Okay, so you started off on the bottom here, 24.96, and you had a really, really good run. What I like about this one is, is look at this, how nice, as it ran up here, you're holding that 50-day all the way up. See how nice you held it, held it, and then she's running right on up. So realistically, the key to all of this is you want to watch this 8 SMA. These are your key levels, your 35.05, your 21-day at 34.16, and then your 50-day at 33.67. Now, in between here, what you always want to watch it just go to the left of the chart. That's at 35.10. We want to watch uh, 34.69. And then we want to watch there at 34.07. So always look to the highs here because 
when it again when it runs up like that and it breaks out then that becomes a nice good support level here okay your key levels are your simple moving averages but always watch the top of those candlesticks all the way down now again if this is lost here we can just follow these candles all the way down here so basically you got uh, 3353 you got uh, 3337 we have 3317 um, we have uh, 3287, and then we have 3249, and then 3235, which is your price channel come across. Now, again, if that is, is lost here, we can come all the way down to your 3127 here, okay, very, very easily. Now, when we, when we look at the bottom of these charts here, see where you have this? It's got 3235, and then you have 3232, okay? So right here is where you want to look. Uh, that low, 3232, there's a gap. And then the top of this uh, channel is 32.23, a small gap. But again, that becomes also very, very key support. But it lines very, very nice up here with the price channel. And if that's lost, we come on, come down here to your 100-day. Then you have your 200-day below. Now, on the upside, what you want to watch is you want to watch, obviously, is uh, uh, the top of this candle. Okay, so this here is uh, 35.10 and then Friday's high. Okay, so... Friday's high was at 36.13. Now, again, if we can rally back up and go higher, well, then we just bring this price channel across. See what we have? 37 flat. You bring this price channel across. What do you have? 37.85. And then we come right up to your big retest here at 38.60. Okay, see, this is why you want to use these blue lines are basically price channels. And it's really good because then what it does is as, as the stock come, comes down, it leaves a price channel on both sides. So now you have, you know where the resistance is going right back on up again here. So there's your top of your candle, which is that 3860, which is basically the top of this candle here, which brings your price channel. And again, you can take these candles all the way and up here. You have 4174, you have 4463, we have uh, 5011. That is going to be your big retest up there here. If you can close above that 3860, you can just wind everything right on up here. Very, very nice. But Bank of America, this is looking really bullish. I'd wait for just a little bit of a pullback here. And then I think she could run up here. Your RSI looking very good. Your MACD, you have a bullish cross. This is looking very, very strong. Very, very, uh, very, very good looking chart here. All right, let's take a little peek on the other side of the chart. Okay, here's your Bank of America. You can see where you're putting in a nice C. You have your high, higher high, higher high, and now she's breaking out. So even if it comes down to that trend line or even this lower trend line, because you can see here from when you go from the bottom, how it held here all the way through, that would still be a good buying opportunity. It makes the stock very, very bullish. I just love that when it's lower left here to the upper right. Okay, the next stop, the stock we're going to look at here is going to be fifth third. Okay, here we have fifth third. Now, this is pretty much the same thing as what we have with the rest of the banks. You have a really nice good bottom at 22.49. That was a opp buying opportunity here. Ran up real nice here. And now what we have is have a nice good a sideways trading action. See, we put a right here. It couldn't get through, couldn't get through, came all the way down here, but now she broke through. So what you wanna watch on this on the downside is we put a red candle in Friday, but what you wanna watch is just the top of this candle that's that 3573 and then we want to watch the top of here you're looking at 3560 that is going to be a really nice good support level and then right below it here you have 3536 your 8 sma and then we have your 50 day at 3438 and then we have your 21 day at 3427 so you have really nice good support levels underneath if that's lost we'll follow the bottom of the candle 3348 we have on this candle, you have uh, a 3303, and then we can just march her all the way down, 3278, uh, 3254, and then nice retest here at 3229. Uh, very, very uh, nice. Now, we don't have to worry about this gap and fill because we already put in the lower low here, so that filled that gap. Very, very nice. Again, under that price channel, you have 3118 and come all the way down to 2882 uh, here. But right now, this is looking very good. Just watch these key levels in here. And as long as you can hold that 850 and 21 day, she's looking really good. RSI here looking good. Very, very bullish on your MACD. Um, now, what I like about this is, is we have a nice good, see this bottoming action here? Very, very nice. And this is also a nice W pattern. See how it comes down, then rolls up, come down there retest it and then she blasts up so realistically what you want to watch is you want to watch the top of that candle that's at 36.95 if you can get above 
Then we just follow it right here to this top of this candle, which is basically 38.06. Uh, and then we can just follow, see these price channels. Okay, so what do you have? Okay, you got 40.07. We come right across here. You have, uh, what do we got there? You have 41.87 and follow it all the way up to 48.03. Looking very, very nice here. But see on, on every chart here, that really nice W pattern, very, very bullish. The key is you want to get it at a close above that 38.06. Once you do, you follow the candles up and you can march it all the way up to 50.64. So this is a very, very good uh, chart here. Any kind of a pullback, as long as it holds these key uh, simple moving averages here, this is very, very bullish here. Okay, there's your fifth third here, right there, lower left, upper right. Very, very nice. Now you can see this trend line that they, they that's drawn right across. Now, again, if it comes down there, even down to the blue trend line, that's still very, very good. That's still very, very bullish. It's just, it's just a little bit on, on the downside. But again, you could run all the way up to that trend line. That's at 38.06. Uh, so very, very easily you have still room to run on the upside here. So this is a, still a very, very uh, bullish chart going on. Next one we have uh, going on here is going to be uh, Wells Fargo. Okay, here we have Wells Fargo. Now, this right here is very nice. See how we have a nice double bottom situation? And here's that W again. So once you break out of that, she can run up very, very nicely. Now, what we have here is you notice that when it ran up, uh, you lost your 8 and your 21 day, but where did it go? Right into that 50. See, look how nice that 50 is holding. Now, what I like about this is that 8 day, 21 day, 50 day, everything is here on the upside. Very, very nice. Now, again, if let's just take a look here at the downside here first. So what you want to watch is this key 5612. That's going to be very critical. We can follow the candles down, but what you really want to watch is, the, is this 21 day at 5312, the 50 day at 5072. And then what we want to do is watch over to the left. Okay, the top of that candle is 5245, the top there 5144. And then we have uh, 5077. These are going to become very nice support levels here if this does sell off here. But always watch the key simple moving average. Those are your strength. And then you can do all the way down to a retest of 4747. And your 100 days right below that at 4711. Uh, now, uh, RSI here look like you got just really, really good strength. Your uh, MACD looking very, very good. Your green above your red shows you got a good momentum. Same right here, good momentum. Right there, good momentum. Everything here is looking pretty bullish. For me, I would wait for a little bit of pullback to see where we go. Now on the upside, 57.68, uh, what is our next target here? Well, we wanna do is we wanna go right to the left here. So you, your next level here is gonna be 58.87, and then we have a retest there of 60.30, okay? So if you can get above that, then we come up to this level here, you're looking at the 66 level, but again, you have to get through that 60.30 first, but this is looking very, very bullish chart. This was probably a really nice, I say probably, it is a really nice trading chart, and then round up here. The only thing about it is, is, is when you get all these days here moving on up here, and then, the, then we had a candle of that 57.68, kind of like a topping tail candle here. So I would wait for me, I'd wait for a pullback, and then this would be a nice buying opportunity. Okay, there's your well, so your trend line coming right across here nice. Held it, held it, and then it sort of like wanted to break through, came down a little bit, put in a bull flag here. See that bull flag? Okay, that's when you have a big-ass candle, and then you have a couple of small ones here, and then she just broke out, went right on up. So this could sell all the way down here to this level, and this is still very, very bullish. See, lower left, upper right. Very, very nice here. But for me, uh, when you have this, uh, these two red candles like that, that could be like a tweezer top. I would just wait a little bit here. I'd wait for a little bit of pullback. If it came down to that trend line and held it, that'd be a buying opportunity. If it came down to this trend line, that'd even be a bigger buying opportunity, okay? So this is looking very, very bullish, but I would just wait a little bit before I would get into it. Okay, here we have Citibank. Now, we had a uh, high, came down, higher high, came all the way down, but once you broke through this level, then you can see how she ran up really nicely. Okay, so what you did though is you're holding, you held your 21 day, your eight, you lost your eight, you lost that, but you've been holding this 50 day the whole time. Even when it sold off, 
it held that key 50 SMA here. What I don't like about this here is we look at Friday's candle. It closed uh, at 51, look around the top, 57.51. You always have to look at this candle here because this is 57.95. So now we have to really question, is there a double top in play? Okay, so always be careful of that because you could not close above that 57.95. Yeah, you got higher. But that don't mean a whole lot. Like you got to close above. So now what I would be watching here is if it pull back, I'd be watching this eight day real closely. That 56, uh, uh, 38, and then 55, 41, and then 54, uh, 26 here. Now there is a couple of gaps here. So you want to watch the bottom of that candle, 54, 14, and then the top of this candle, 53. I mean 54, 10. Okay, 54, uh, 14, 54, 10. A little bit of gap and fill, and then look to the bottom here, 53.59, and then the top of that candle is 53.46. So you have a gap here, another gap there, and then you can come down to your 52.24. So these gaps will provide support here if your key uh, simple moving averages are lost. But realistically, watch that 56, uh, 38, 55, 41, 54, 26. If that's lost here, we can look at these gaps and then we can look right down here where you have your 5224. Now again, if that's lost, there is a gap, another gap right here. Look at the low, 5195, and then look at the top, 5168. Okay, so you have a lot of gaps here that can provide some good support. And then if that's lost, we'll come to the bottom of this candle at 5051, which will bring this price channel right across. And then you can come all the way down to your, your uh, 100 day here and your 200 day. The question is, is this a double top in play? Uh, because you did not close above that key 57.58. You got higher, but you didn't close above. Now your your RSI here, you really have negative divergence. See, you have a high here. See, we have a high. You have an even a higher high, but you got a lower high. Higher high, lower high. See, negative divergence. So always kick a walk. Now I'm gonna say it's gonna play out, but just keep your eye on what you want to do is have anything that gives you an edge. That's the key. MACD, green above the red, showing very, very uh, lot of good momentum, very bullish. Green above your end, looking very, very good. Here, same way uh, here on your uh, monthly chart. Now, when we look up here, if you can uh, break out here of your, your this, this key level, we have a nice good target up there of 67.75. That's going to be a very, very key target if you can break above here. You can follow your candles up. But realistically, this is where your target is going to be, that 67.75. Uh, so realistically, watch the key SMAs here if it sells all the way and down. And then if it can break up above that that uh, level there, then we next we have a nice good target right there at that 200 SMA. Okay, set the group, nice. Bottom left, upper right, all these uh, bank stocks are looking really, you know, very, 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 very bullish here. Again, you don't have to buy all of them. Whatever your favorites, like me, Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, those are my favorites. That's what I go with. So this is the candle that we were, where I was talking about here. This is that 57 uh, uh, 95. This is where we got to close above. If you can get close above that, then you can go higher and push that trend line all the way up here, and she will go higher. If it sells down here, you can see how the how this bottom trend line is holding. If it comes there, that might be a really good buying opportunity. Okay, the next one we'll look at here is going to be uh, U.S. Bank Corp. Okay, here we have uh, U.S. Bank Corp. Now, this is kind of a different kind of a chart. It went up here, but it's not like the regular, the other ones where you just have a straight up uh, situation. When you look at this here, you put in a high. And then we have a series of lower highs. Now we're trying to work it up. So what you want to look at here is you want to look at this key price channel on the upside. Let's take a look at that first. 43.77. That's basically where you want to go. If you can get above that, we'll come up to the next level, which is uh, 44.33. And then we can move up to the top of this candle at 45.30. And then your big retest there at 45.85. Uh, now, again, if you can get above all that there, we have we have... This is what I'd be looking at right here is going to be that 4587. That's your 200 SMA on your uh, uh, monthly chart. And again, if you can get above that, we'll just bring this canvas right across. You have uh, 4824, but we'd be looking for right here at 4993. This is what 95. This is what we'll be looking for. And then you can just zoom right on up all the way on through. 
Okay, 53, 37, all the way up to 57 here on 92. But right now, we've got to see if you can get back and close above that 43, uh, 77. That's going to be very, very crucial. On the downside, watch this 8 SMA. You're looking at 42.53. And then right below it, you have 41.96. And then we have 41.53. Uh, but it looks like we have two red candles here. It just couldn't get through. That's going to be the key. So Monday, when you come in, if you're trading this, 43.77. If you can close above that, then we can notch it and go higher. And your big target is going to be 45.85. If you can't, watch that 42.53. Watch your 50-day here, 41.96, and then your 21-day. If that's lost, we follow the candles down. You look at 40.93 here. We have uh, uh, 40.85. We come down here, 40.33. Uh, we have uh, 39.41. And then we can always come down and test that retest at 38.87. Uh, we do have a hondo there at 39.50. So you do have good support here underneath. It just looks like this is not the same way. This just looks like it's a flag kind of a situation. However, what I do like to hear about that on the weekly chart is the CRs came down. Okay, see this W pattern? And then you put in a higher low versus that, and now she's rocketing up. Very, very nice. So you really need to get above that candle at that 45, uh, uh, 85, and then she can just layer right on up it's, and then go right up there very nicely. But what you want to watch here, if this doesn't rally up here, is this 50 SMA. This is sitting at 45.15. This is going to be very, very crucial because, see, look at this candle. I'll went right into it. Look at that next month candle into it. Now look at this candle right into it and pulled right back. So we'd have to see when it gets into that area what it's going to do. If it breaks above, well, then you can shoot to that 47.80 and 49.95. But if it can, then she's going to come right down and we have some sideways action. Okay, what we have here, you can see where it hit that trend line. And then you start putting in, which I never like, is where you have a high, a lower high, a lower high. Okay, and now it came all the way down. Now it started trying to break up. Now what you do, you just have to watch that key level going right across, which is basically the top of that candle. Okay, so if you can get above that, close above that candle, and then we can start going up and ratcheting up all to the next candle levels here. But if it pulls down, you want to watch that key trend line because it's been holding really nice. And if it doesn't hold that, then you have another trend line leading on the way and down. You could come all the way down to there here. So this one here, I'd be just a little bit careful. So next one we're going to look at here is going to be uh, UBS. Okay, UBS. Uh, this isn't really my kind of chart. See how many gaps? Look, at it. it's just nothing but Chop City. Uh, and Friday, what you had is you had a basically a gap and a go. Okay, I, I never liked this for a simple reason. Is look at this candle. This is a basically a topping tail candle, uh, reversal candle situation. So I I don't like that, and I would wait to get to at least to this gap fill because when you gap up like that, usually it wants to come down there and fill that candle. So I'd be very leery. I would watch the bottom of this at uh, thirty sixty nine, and then the top, which would be. 29.88. Again, uh, if you can rally and it closes back above this candle at 31.19, um, then you can then you have a shot at the 31.40. That's obvious, and then that's your breakout level. Okay, like we have here. I do like the the series of highs, higher highs, higher highs, and higher highs. That's always very very bullish situation. The key is a close above that 31.40. Then she rips higher. Well, next level is obviously is going to be a round number. So you can go to the 40 level here. But for me, I would wait and see what happens with this gap here before I would take any kind of a position. Now, your RSI here, well, you're coming right on up here. But, you know, when you have this kind of a situation where you gap up, it kind of changes the tune a little bit. But your, your MACD is looking uh, uh, very, very bullish here. You reversed here on that big uh, candle there for the week. So this is uh, this is actually a, a good chart. But for me, I would wait for a little pullback until this area. If you could fill that gap, then I could say then you could go. But again, if your rally is higher and you close above that 3140, well, then she's going to go to the 40 level here for sure. Okay, you can look at this chart here. See, this is what I was saying. Look at it. It's just nothing but gaps all over the place. I never liked that kind of a situation. And then look at what we had there on Friday with that candle just gapped up but left the topping tail. So I would wait if you're into this. I would wait till you fill that candle or if you break above that uh, the key level. 
if you can break above that, then you can head to the 40 level. But realistically, uh, this I would wait for me. For me, I'd wait for a pullback. But on this lower level here, see how you're holding it very, very nicely. So even if this came down and you held the 50 or even came down to this trend line, this would be a buying opportunity here as long as it doesn't go black below that trend line. But right now, this is, isn't kind of this chart that set up that would be for my uh, uh, kind of a liking here. Okay, so the next uh, last one we're going to look at here is going to be uh, Morgan Stanley. Okay, here we have Morgan Stanley. And I can see he had a really nice run up from 69 all the way to 94. Okay, so that was a really good uh, uh, run up level. Well, when it, when it came all the way down here, you put a nice good double bottom action. And then when it sold down again, you came down and you held that 200 day, which is always very positive. But you look at Friday's candle, that's also a topping tail candle, and it just couldn't close above that 50 day. So let's take a look at the upside first. First of all, it needs to get above this 8707. That's the first thing. Next level is going to be that 8777. That's where the level, that's where you really have to get above. So Friday's high was uh, 8832, okay? So you look at the bottom of this candle, 8862. So now you have a gap in the fill going on here, say? So upside, watch your 8 SMA uh, sitting at 8707. The 50 day, 8777. And then watch Friday's high. That's at 80, uh, 8832. There's your gap. Look to the bottom of that candle, 8862. There's your fill. Gap, fill. And then you can hit your 9124. Now, again, if you can go above that 9124, then we just bring the candle right across here. What do you have? You have 9190. We work yourself up. You have 9284. You have 9383. And then right there, 9415. That is your big, big retest. Okay. So, uh, and the, really what you need here to do is it has to get a back above that uh, eight day, the 50 day, and this gap, this fill, and then really that 9124. But you can see if it does, you have a nice target all the way up here at all 100 bucks here. Okay, so when you look at this candle, the next one you want to do is just look here. And then as this made a high, a lower high, lower high, now you can test this and go right back up again here. So get right back above that 9415. Then we come to just follow the candles right back. What do you got? 95.57. We have uh, uh, 99.20. And then you have a big retest of 199. And then you have your bigger retest is 109.73, which is up in this area here. However, you got to get above the 8, the 50 day, the gap, the fill, and the 91.24 before you can actually do that. On the downside, you want to watch this 21 day, 86.17. And then this 84.57, this 200 day. Very, very key support. If you look at here, it's, I held it. See, held it, held it, held it. Very, very key. If that's lost, you have your 100 days sitting there at 83.56, and then your retest at 83.09, uh, right below it here. So uh, RSI here, well, that's not really telling you much. You've got plenty of room to run on the upside. Your MACD, your green is above your red here. Yes, and that's so that gives you that's like a bullish momentum there. This one here is the MACD, the green is kissing the red here. So we got to see how it all shakes out, but it's all going to be de depend on this. If you can get above that 8 to 50 day in this 9124, if you can, you just layer up and there's your big target, 94, uh, 15. And then you can work your way up to 100 and uh, maybe even 109 here. Uh, but we got to see how that all going to shake out here right now. It just kind of, uh, I don't like when you see this green candle, that topping tail candle. That's really, that's usually kind of like a reversal candle. So we got to see how that's going to shake out. <clears throat> okay, so we have your trend line. You came up here and basically you retested it, couldn't come through. And then we came all the way down. Your bottom trend line here, you're holding there pretty good. Um, and when you came all the way down here, you're, you're holding your, your key uh, simple moving averages. But again, you see what I say about this candle on Friday's candle. See, it just looks like a topping tail candle. It couldn't get above that 50 day and close. It got above it, but it couldn't close above it. That's the key. And then you left that gap right there. And then you have to get above here until you can rally up to there. So this one here, I'd be just a little bit careful of. If it pulls that back, it might be a buying opportunity at that 200 day that we looked on the chart. Uh, but we got to see how that basically is going to uh, shake out. Let's see here. 
Okay, that's what I got for you today on the banks. Uh, now, remember on the Friday on that market, um, you know, the market was ripping up pretty good here after the employment numbers. Uh, but then they start selling off, and then, uh, actually the Nasdaq sold off the worst. Uh, I say when you look at a stock like the Nvidia, and it came off 100 points. You look at that TQQs, it set a new high, and then it came off four points. You got to be very, very careful. So when you come in to watch the futures on Sunday night, that's going to be a tell. And then Monday, just be just be a real leery uh, before you start getting in full blown here, okay? Because we're really we're due for a, a good correction here. So when you look at a seasonality charts, uh, which I'm gonna actually tomorrow I'm gonna do a video here on the indexes, and I'm gonna post some seasonality charts with that, okay? So that gives you a good idea here. But really, we're looking for a little bit of a kind of a correction uh, coming here. So. You know, a lot of that stuff is FOMO. You know, you're chasing it. I get the whole IA thing, and I'm down with it. I mean, I'm scalping, uh, you know, NVIDIA every day. But the key word is I'm scalping it, which basically is a day trade. I just look for an opportunity. I try to get my 20, 25. Sometimes I'll get 30 points out of that thing. Take your money and then put it in your pocket and see what happens the next day. But even like on Friday there, when I seen that big reversal of 100 points on there, you know, you got to just be a little bit leery here that this market is kind of getting a little bit ahead of itself here and just wait for a little bit of pullback. There might be a lot of big, uh, better opportunities, okay? So that's what we're going to review there tomorrow on the Sunday edition is all the indexes with some seasonality charts. So I hope everybody's having a great weekend, and thanks for watching.